All right, so I didn't think I'd be saying this, but with iPadOS 26.1, I think that update just made my iPad Pro a little more powerful than ever before, thanks to one single feature that Apple actually removed and then now has brought it back. Yes, you heard that right. Apple took this feature away, people were upset, and now it's back and better than ever before, and that feature is called SlideOver. And in today's video, I'm going to show you what's new with SlideOver with iPadOS 26.1, how it enhances multitasking, and why I honestly think that this update, though it might sound small, is actually one that builds upon the multitasking features that the iPad received with iPadOS 26. You see, when iPadOS 26 launched earlier this year, it introduced a brand new windowing system, something that iPad users have wanted for years. You could finally move, resize, and layer windows more like a Mac. And while that was great, it came with a huge trade-off. Apple removed SlideOver and Split View completely. Now, Split View was honestly not that big of a deal because you could kind of replicate it with floating windows. But with SlideOver, that's a different story. For years, I used SlideOver constantly. It was one of those little iPadOS features that quietly made the experience feel fast and fluid. You could open up messages, Slack, or notes, open up whatever you were doing, then just swipe it away when you were done. No clutter, no interruptions. Now with iPadOS 26, multitasking felt powerful and more like a Mac than ever before. And though I love it, it does get slightly overwhelming at times. And there were some moments where I really missed slide over because sometimes I don't wanna be digging for certain applications. I just want it to slide out where I can get the useful information that I need and slide it back when I'm not using it. It's also helpful to have that useful information or app pinned on top of all the others. So when Apple removed slide over with iPadOS 26 beta one, I thought maybe it was a glitch and that maybe we'd get it in future betas of iPadOS 26, but no. Even with the final release of iPadOS 26 in September, we didn't get it. But thankfully, with iPadOS 26.1, SlideOver is back and it's integrated beautifully into the new windowing system. Let me first show you how it works. You can get any open window as a SlideOver by long pressing the green window controls button at the top of the screen and tapping Enter SlideOver. Once activated, the app floats above your workspace just like before and you can drag it off screen bringing it back instantly and even move it around freely. Apple describes it like this. In iPadOS 26.1 or later, you can set one window as a slide over window to stay open on top of other windows, and you can also move the slide over window off screen and bring it back when you need it. And honestly, I think that's the perfect description. It gives you this quick access layer of multitasking that was sort of missing with iPadOS 26, and now that it's back, I do think it is a game changer for productivity. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you a few examples how I've been using SlideOver in my day-to-day -day workflow. So when I'm working on my content calendar, for example, in the calendar app, I will keep reminders or my email in SlideOver. This way, if I want to refer back to an email or see my list of tasks, I can quickly do that and then just swipe the window away and jump right back to work. Another example is when I'm editing a video in LumaFusion, I'll have my messages app open as well so that I can quickly you know, update my thumbnail designer with quick notes or ideas. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Couldn't I just select those apps individually? Well, here's the thing. If I know I'll be using certain apps to quickly do certain tasks or looking up information, it's much easier to slide the app out rather than switching screens because I don't need those specific apps all the time on my display. You see, the magic here is in the flexibility. You can pop in and out of apps instantly without cluttering your workspace or losing focus. Now with the keyboard shortcut of globe plus backslash, I can summon SlideOver anytime I want. Before this update, I actually tried to simulate SlideOver by resizing my notes app to a narrow side window, but to be honest, it wasn't the same. It took up space, didn't stay pinned on top, and it would disappear if I switched apps. I basically had to choose between having it visible all the time or not at all. But with real slide over being back, I can hide it completely when I don't need it and bring it back in an instant when I want it. Oh, and there are two new things with slide over that we didn't have previously. First off, you're not limited by size. You can literally adjust the size of a slide over app to your preference. Second, you don't need to have it on the right side of your display. You can literally put it on any side and that makes it really convenient and useful. However, it's not perfect. There is one limitation right now that I hope Apple addresses soon. You see, in iPadOS 18, you could actually stack multiple apps together inside SlideOver, 
They were all accessible with a quick swipe. That's gone for now. And iPadOS 26.1 slide over only supports a single app at a time. It's a bit of a regression. And honestly, I do hope that Apple brings stacking back in a future update. But still, even as a single app feature, slide over already adds back that missing sense of flow to multitasking on iPad. So after a couple of years of using the iPad Pro as my main device, this update really reminded me why I love this machine to begin with. It's powerful, portable, and now with slide over back, it's finally regaining the fluid multitasking that makes it stand out from a laptop. It's funny because Apple built the whole advanced windowing system to make the iPad feel more like a Mac, but a feature that makes it very powerful and unique is a feature like slide over, and that's something that you only get with the iPad, not a Mac. Slide over is part of what made the iPad's user experience special in the first place. So yeah, iPadOS 26.1 doesn't really reinvent the reel. It just brought back a feature that we desperately needed. And now with slide over's return, my iPad Pro feels faster, lighter, and way more powerful for multitasking than it did just a few weeks ago. I am hoping that future updates add stack slide overs and maybe even smarter controls for managing them. But for now, I'm quite impressed. Now, if you've updated to iPadOS 26.1, let me know in the comments, does slide over make a difference in your workflow? I'm honestly very eager to know. And if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more iPad and Apple content, and I'll catch you in the next one.